emerging from season 21 of Tough with a furious run, kept there waiting for him, will be Tough Brazil 3 winner Alves. Who's Kamoru, the Nigerian nightmare who battles Warley Alves. and Henry Hook kickboxing rep Kamaru Usman. He comes in having one 170 pound fighter in the world. He's got a very difficult game to do. He gets on top of you. He transitions position to position very well in just the second and third round because this guy is just that tough to deal with. Decorated wrestler, 53 and 3 in high school. Then he went on to become a three time entry at 174 pounds in 2010. And certainly when, when he makes that transition and starts to believe in it, the striking's going to be caught and beat you up on the ground. You see, there are five plus. Back in 2014, Wally Alves making the walk for his sixth year. In his career, you know, his fight against Brian Barberina was an awesome fight. Ring where you're winning fights in fast fashion, like he did in fours, how to go in those dog fights and make the adjustments to win. Coming up, a guy like Kamara Usman, who's not gonna give you much. Usman doesn't make it. Usman, because Alves at times in the Barbarina fight, lost one now in the UFC, still just 25 years old. Budweiser, this buds for you. Wally Alves will be 20 inch taller. Alves weighed in 171 pounds, one six inch inside the octagon to Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record. Eight wins, one Florida, USA, Kamaru, the Nigerian Knight. Out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record. Out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the tough Brazil. And when the action begins, a referee in charge, victorious opponent in a division full of contenders, but I am the worst draw. Is that he's in the green trunks. Wally Alves is in goal. Nice and choke. And specifically when guys shoot in on takedowns on Worley Alves. More than willing to deplete the gas tank in pursuit of a finish more often than... Worried about this guy's takedowns. I'm focused on my offense. I'm not going to let him neutralize me. Here to land over the top. Alves attacks that lead leg. Bro. He does an excellent job really off his straight with Worley Alves going straight down the middle and cutting through his guard. But it's not going to be a stationary target. He feels Usman closing the distance wanting to shoot here again. by Worley Alves. One and a half minute gone by round one. And Usman had outside of his fight against Hader Hassan with the arm triangle, but on his last appearance for Usman back in July, he had to see for some fence grabs, but total domination from Usman thus far. Nothing for Usman on the ground. Very sharp jab, jab there from Worley Alvin. Hasn't shot for a takedown attempt yet. Alvis expected. Looks like there is some sort of welt on the forehead of here to go round one. Oh, big right hand lands for Alves. Haven't seen a takedown attempt yet from Usman. Well, you felt like the... Ran into a guy who's a little overconfident and realized, you know what, you can't do that with guys. That... Gets his back away from the fence, back to the center. But now, back some... Great way about him here tonight. Outside leg kick for Alves. Try and solidify and win the round. Several times now, you get underneath him for a takedown attempt. Really like that. Execution. Not a surprise some people, but credit to Alves. And it's not. Usman smiling at him. Say that exchange is what people got really excited about Worley Alves, but he's You gotta do your game, don't... State of New York on Friday, December 9th. You can catch the action live on his impressive year when he takes on Shamil Abdurahimov, the UFC fight pass. And, and just as Alvis had his best combination, circle away from the fence and landed a beautiful out to the stool. Alves using the fence. He wasn't going to get the grip he wanted. Five of Alves. No surprise there from Usman. Who... Not surprised to see him in the clinch here to start. Digging for that right underhook. He's trying to get some space here so he can get out. Difficult. Good job by Alves. 
by Alves. It is a very real threat, even if you're not in optimal position to finish the fight. He's closing the distance here. Really good defense so far up now. Threatening the takedown and opening up. With three minutes now to go round two. Front kick there from Alves. With, they don't look that hard on TV. When you get that right in the belly button, that, that, and right hand there for Usman. And now Usman more again. High octane fight as expected here between a couple of welterweight hopefuls. But he's going after it tonight. There with a left hook. Now an uppercut for Usman. So Kamar Usman. Scalp is taking some very deep breaths. Elbow is there for No, and it's tough. It's very tiring when you have someone stalking you the way. Beautiful knee to the body from Alves. Who can again looks at the clock. Of the Nigerian nightmare. Who just turned in a big run. Ra... Use your hands. Relax. This round, this is all you. It's one to one. It's your life. Third and final round. Kamara Usman, Wally Alves. Al Easier said than done against the pressure. Kamara Usman. Both these guys have taken each other's best shots. Kamar Usman, 8 and 1, only lost by submission. And then Alves caught him with a couple of knees in round two. Throwing and getting out of range. Excellent work there from Usman. And Brian Stan on hand. Kamar Usman putting it to work. Alves taking power shots, now an elbow. Clinch it. Easy takedown for Usman, no surprise there. Nigeria moved to the States at five years old. Primary attempt here. Can't see from this angle if it's under the chest to the yeah. canvas. Very hard to get the kind of leverage you need. Say something to the referee. He's trying to say that he's out. Slide, grind his chin inside that right wrist. Orly Al Galvez pay with elbows. Guy who goes after the finish. For being more of a going a lot of heart. How about the pace? Under two minutes now to go. Trap. And the referee watching closely. He's not getting it. Good job by Alves. He's got to continue to buck there. Good work there. That's a I think Kamal Usman was trying to show the world here tonight. Largely he's doing. He Kamal Usman. Certainly have to log. Where you see arm triangle attempt here from Usman. Really tough because he's got that fence. This is still tight. Usman's a strong guy, but that when you can't rotate away from his body. Alves. See if Usman chooses to abandon it and go back to ground and pound or pushes up, up towards the top of the head Final to lift seconds. the chin. Fives, but all Kamaru Usman down the stretch. The official. Dis Australia next Saturday, the main event, best one at 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, now back. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the decision. Kamaru, the Nigerian night. All right, here with the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. You wanted to make a statement here tonight. Me fez isso e um pouco mais. O que que você achou da luta? E aí, galera? Muito, muito obrigado, muito obrigado. Thank you guys for all the love. Get him out of there. Everyone's acting like. I'm being dealt bombs. Guys, these guys are tough. So I wanted to come out here and make a recado hoje à noite. E esse cara realmente é muito duro. As pessoas dizem que eu não consigo. Dominant every step of the way in the UFC. You have now set yourself up for a big fight. Said it once, I've said it twice, and I'm not gonna say it anymore. I am the best time. Hey, he's a grappler. 
He thinks he's the best. I going on with Woodley or McGregor or whoever else. So why not keep him? Tá ali no topo também. Ele é um ótimo grappler, mas eu quero essa luta. Tá sendo assim. Go enjoy it. And I'll tell you one thing. You set that up there. Com ele no primeiro round. There he is, folks, the Nigerian nightmare. Using fast 4G LTE T-Mobile network for $30, period. Here, and show the power that he has in his hand.